Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are deep in the jungle, in Map Square L8, building a jungle base within the base of a large tree. This build uses all vanilla items, although I think being able to place certain parts of this base may require usage of the less building placement restrictions mod, though I am not 100% on that. As usual, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. With more and more people working from home, staying safe online is more important than ever. NordVPN offers safety and security online by keeping your location and identity hidden. Nord has plenty to offer in terms of both security and freedom. You can get 68% of a two-year deal plus a month free when you visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt. Stick around until the end of the video to learn more about how NordVPN can help you make the most out of the internet. So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, I started off with of course the base plate. I used stone, square and wedge foundations to create the floor of the base, which will sit within this gap at the foot of the tree between these large roots. I've built maybe two or three bases like this before, mainly experimental ones, and this tree gives a lot of protection to the base, along with offering a quite interesting and unique aesthetic to the exterior of the build. Next, for the walls. After creating the entrance, I used reinforced stone walls to build up the ground floor of the build two tiles high. One of the benefits of building it inside a tree like this is that you don't really need that many resources. You can build the front and partially the side walls and then run the side walls into the tree and use the tree itself as the rear wall for the base, which actually works really nicely. I kept the structure of this base really quite simple, as it doesn't need to be anything too fancy. I simply just built the walls up, added some door frames and window frames, and then capped off the ground floor with stone ceilings. Next for the first floor. After placing down the stairs, I again built walls two tiles high over the centre of the build to create a small first floor area, along with adding door access to the right side and front side of the roof. I fenced off the roof, though I was aware at this point that access to the left side would be pretty difficult due to the massive root cutting through that part of the build. Eventually I ended up adding a sloped roof onto there, but you'll see that in the furnishing phase. Finally, I added a roof over the first floor. It's a pretty simple sloped roof made with sloped tiled roof pieces, smoothly sloping up into the trunk of the tree. I also used those same roof tiles to create an overhang at the top of the ground floor walls. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. 
Approaching the build, I've added that second roof on the left hand side, along with adding wall torches and wall palisades on the exterior of the build. Entering the build, the ground floor is a large workshop, holding workbenches for pretty much every discipline. I wanted this space to be practical and effective, and having access to all of these different workbenches in such close proximity to each other helps to achieve that aim. Entering the left side room we reach the kitchen. This is a much smaller area than the workshop but serves the purpose nicely and the large roots cutting through this room adds a little something special to the aesthetic. Heading upstairs, this is a small bedroom with plenty of storage stacked up. Along with being effective and useful, I wanted the base to be a little bit cluttered and disorganised, and having the storage stacked up like this works well to achieve that. From the bedroom, you have access to the left side roof and the front balcony. The left side could probably fit maybe another couple of utility workbenches or maybe a small wheel of pain, I'm not 100% sure, but both roofs allow you to look out over the jungle. And there we have it, a jungle base in the Exiled Lands in Map Square L8. Thanks for watching, I've built a few builds within the base of a tree before, mainly just as experimentation, but I'm actually pretty pleased with this build and I think that aesthetically it looks really nice. As I mentioned earlier, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. If you want to stay safe on the internet and ensure you can't be tracked by shady individuals, or whilst being able to access Netflix, BBC iPlayer, ITV, Hulu, HBO and more regardless of where you live, all whilst maintaining blazing fast internet speeds, NordVPN is the perfect choice for you. When you use my link or discount code you can get 68% off a 2 year deal, which comes out to $3.71 a month, an absolute bargain price for such a great service that I use almost every day. The software is a small download and it's easy to use one click and you're both connected and protected, and you have full access to the internet. Nord also has very strict policies on protecting your data, meaning you can browse in confidence. Visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt or use code eradyt at checkout to claim this huge discount and get the best VPN service available on the internet and also help me out a lot at the same time. As always, thanks to Nord for sponsoring the video. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos. As usual, absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch and join the fun on our Discord through the links in the description. Again, don't forget you can get 68% off NordVPN when you use code ERADYT at checkout or you can go through my affiliate link in the description and pin comment below. YouTube is currently my full-time source of income, so if you enjoy the content and would like to help support the channel so I can continue to put out the best content possible, do consider becoming a patron. There are multiple tiers of support from $1 to $20, offering many different benefits from a mention in every video to Discord roles, and even sneak peeks of every new video before anyone else. The link to my Patreon is in the description, so if you'd like to support the channel feel free to consider becoming a patron. On that note, a thanks to our current patrons Sammy, Sir Dialot, Randar, MK Pantheon, 
Velma, Shannara, and Torn. If you're new here, feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Cone Nexiles videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday. So if you like what you see, subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.